Hi, welcome to Science in 5. Learning math can be a challenge, especially if it feels like trying to figure out an ever-changing puzzle. It shouldn't be like that. If you subscribe to Science in 5, we can explain the math to you in 5 minutes. What you do the rest of your time, hmm, it's up to you. In this video, we're going to talk about the addition and subtraction of integers. Grab a pen and some writing material and let's go. To be able to add and subtract integers, think of a number line. Zero is in the middle. If you move to the right hand side, you're going into the positive direction. And from zero, if you go to the left hand side, you're going to the negative direction. That's where the negative numbers are. Okay? When it comes to adding now, when you add a number, you have to move to this right hand side. So it doesn't matter whether you're starting from a negative number, but whenever you add, you have to move into the positive direction. When you subtract, similarly, you have to move into the negative direction. And again, it doesn't matter whether you start from a positive number or a negative number, you have to move backwards. So zero plus five means move five steps from zero. One, two, three, four, and five, to give me an answer of five. Six minus seven means from six, move seven steps back. Where do you think I'll stop? At minus one. Adding and subtracting numbers like this hmm, looks fairly straightforward. The interesting part comes now when we start adding negative numbers. So suppose I have 5 plus minus 3. Like that. So what I need to do here, the moment I see that there's an operator and there's a negative number, it always helps to place the negative number in a bracket. Like that. Then from then on I say, We've discussed multiplication and division of integers in our previous video. I imagine there's an invisible one here that is multiplying the negative 3 inside. So what's a positive 1 times a negative 3? Well, we said a positive times a negative always gives you a negative. So this answer becomes 2. So whenever you are adding a negative number, change the addition sign to a subtraction sign and then move on the number line. Similarly, if I had negative 6 plus negative 8, I would convert the positive addition sign to a subtraction sign to give me negative 6 minus 8. Now I know that from negative 6, I have to move 8 steps back. From negative 6, if you move 8 steps back, you end up at negative 14. So adding negative numbers is simple. Convert addition sign to subtraction sign. How about subtracting negative numbers? Suppose I have 10 minus minus 2. Again, I can see there's an operator and then there's a negative number. So I'm going to put the negative number in a bracket. Once I've done that, I know that there's an invisible one outside the bracket. Now I multiply the invisible one with the negative two inside. Minus one times minus two becomes a positive. So it's 10 plus two gives me 12. So subtracting a negative number is simple. 
convert negative sign to addition. Similarly, if I had minus 5, minus, minus 7, I know that this would become minus 5 plus 7, which means I need to move 7 steps to the right and I'll end up at 2. Be careful of confusing these similar sums because we spoke of two negative signs. In this example, there is a number in between the two negative signs, so you cannot convert this into an addition. In this example, there is no number there. Okay? You can see it says 5 minus minus 7. So the two negatives multiply out to give us a positive. My five minutes is up, guys, but don't disappear just yet. It's time for you guys to practice some maths. Practice makes perfect. Stick around. It's practice time. Here's a couple of sums to practice to see if we can add and subtract integers. Okay. Just to highlight the number four, there's a division line. Again, at this stage, you must be coming familiar with a division line. We've discussed it in previous videos. Simplify the terms at the top, simplify the terms at the bottom, and then divide. Pause the video at this instant. Once you're done, Continue the video, I'll be writing the answers in. Resist the temptation of using a calculator. Strengthen your algebraic skills. Make your math journey easy. Understand the basics. Resist the temptation of using a calculator. Okay, let's go. Number one, minus seven plus minus five. Well, we say to convert addition sign to a negative. This is minus 7, minus 5. Move 5 steps back from minus 7. You end up with minus 12. Minus 6, minus, minus 7. Again, here we say convert the negative sign to, put, to an addition sign because we are subtracting a negative number. So this becomes minus 6 plus 7, which becomes positive 1. 10 plus minus 3 plus another minus 3. So this becomes 10 minus 3 minus 3. 10 minus 3, 7. 7 minus 3 is 4. Here, let's try to simplify the, bot the top part. This becomes minus 7, the two negative signs, it's minus 7 plus 6 plus 5. The bottom part is 8 minus 3 is 5 plus minus 2 becomes minus 2. Minus 7 plus 6 is negative 1 plus 5 over 5 minus 2 is 3. Minus 1 plus 5 becomes 4 over 3. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more math videos where we teach the basics in algebra. See you guys next time.